Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a video of the Rocat Tyon gaming mouse. I'm going to do an unboxing of the mouse today. Let's place my tripod, so I'm going to be doing this uh, one-handed. So bear with me, guys. So as you can see, it says all action, multi-button gaming mouse. And it's an eight, the same laser. It's a laser sensor R3800 DPI as the Rocat uh, Konex TD, which I did an unboxing review of. It says a multi-button, easy shift, two-level, multi-color, illumination, natural form-fitting design ergonomics. So that's the front of the box. We go in the back of the box. It talks about a lot more about the mouse. You can see, see here. I'm not going to go through each and every single one. And let's go ahead and it, it open up the flap here and you can see even more stuff about the mouse like I said you know, I won't go through this too much in depth I will go through uh, more in depth with the features and whatnot when I do the review of this mouse so I'm gonna go ahead and open up the box there you go I just opened up the box it's the same type of box as a cone XTD the plastic comes off and there you can see the bare mouse itself. I'll go ahead and remove that in a second. Here comes a quick exhalation guide right here. And let's get the mouse out. And here we are, the mouse itself. The first impressions of this mouse are very good. Um, except for my very first, first time when I put my hand on this. I feel this on my on my um, ring finger on this side it has where I believe the light bar is it has this concaveness as you can see it goes inside you know it goes down inside like that like a ridge to it or whatever and it bothered me right off the bat the first time I put put my hand on the mouse on my on my ring finger it's it's like bugging me I don't know um, it's not smooth it's like like I feel like it's 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 really sharp it feels like it's gonna constantly like it's gonna over time cut me that's just my first straight up what I first felt by putting my hand on the mouse just the way I felt it I mean maybe it might be different when I put it on a hard surface let me see um, or like on, a, on my mouse pad uh, yeah okay Maybe because maybe it was a bed, I don't know, but okay now now my ring finger is up higher so I don't feel it. Okay. Well, like I said, that was just my first impression on a on a bed mattress, but on a harder surface, yeah, it feels much better. As you can see here, right and click mouse up here, uh, buttons up here, and it has extra buttons here, 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 and here. And it also has this cool little analog like stick for your thumb back and forward here and it has the easy shift button down here that that one is dedicated for that that's very easily touched very easily able to access and it has this fin this controversial fin uh, design here that your knuckles are supposed to hit it which I can't do it really that easily. Now, I believe this side-to-side -side motion is re uh, replaces the side-to-side -side motion on the scroll wheel. The scroll wheel is noticeably lower, like lower down on the mouse versus the Konex CD, and it, it doesn't have the side-to-side -side click. It just has the, the straight down click. So it's replaced the side to side click now is replaced here on this part of the mouse, I guess. Has a cool roll cut logo there. Let's go uh, uh, this, on the side there. It has the, the two side buttons right there and an analog stick for your thumb. And of course, the easy shift button there. Feels really good. Uh, the tie logo there and, I, and go, that, that strip, the ended strip all the way around the mouse. All the way around. Seeing the front. Let's see. It goes all the way to the front. Yes, it is. 
and of course the braided cable it's just real cut tie on there upside down but it's right side up when you connect it i think and let's go ahead and look at the bottom of the mouse here big huge sliding feet i like a lot so far it feels much better than the Rocat Konex TD which had two separate pads I believe. And let's go ahead and see it has there the same sensor as a Rocat Konex TD. It's the 8200 DPI Pro Aim Sensor 3 R3. It's a class 1 laser product. It says Rocat, Rocat Tion. Major differences between this one and the Konex TD besides having more buttons on the Tion the missing weights system weighted system you can't replace the weights on this mouse so you get what you get well there's a magnet on this box okay all right so you you get what you get when it comes to the weight of the mouse um it's a fairly lightweight mouse it has some weight to it but it's not as as heavy as a konex tv with all the weights in it in my opinion and that's pretty much it guys on the unboxing of the Rocat Tion all action multi button gaming mouse. That's what Rocat is calling this one. And if you guys enjoy this video, please like this video. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Please leave a comment, question or concern on the comments uh, below. I'll go ahead and leave links to the where I got this mouse on the description below. And thanks for watching again. And I'll catch you on the next one.